exercise your head. Read. Gooster is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Kaplan T. McCarver Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't save all on breath. I bet you can. Hi, Max. Tina. Hi, Mark. What are you doing? Well, guess where we're playing tonight? Downtown at the Silver Slipper Club. And we got this big record executive coming. If she likes the sound, she may offer us a recording contract. Wow, you'll be famous. Pretend that I'm a superstar and interview me. Act like you're really impressed, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's move over there so I can see the instruments. Okay. So. How does it feel to be rich and famous? Oh, it's not very different. I'm still the same old down-to-earth Max Fraser, except maybe for my Rolls Royce and my Jag and my Lamborghini. <laughs> we don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. You can see that? He wants to be friends with us. He can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. What a trip. You okay? You okay? I know! You, you, you did this. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. What, what, are you hurt? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, well then maybe you could explain to me what just happened, huh? You could have killed us. Look what you did! Listen, I didn't mean to. This person jumped in front of my truck, and I, I got to jerk the wheel. What, what? I don't see anybody. I thought I saw somebody. This. How are we going to play this gig without instruments, huh? Huh? What are we going to do about the record contract? You idiot! Why didn't you swerve the other way? Listen, I didn't have time to think about that. And anyway, you should be grateful that I ran over your instruments and not you, because yeah. I saved your life. You saved my life, you ruined my life. Grateful? Yeah, grateful? I'll show you grateful. Watch this. I'm calling the police. My legs are killing me from all those deep knee bends. But you gotta do them, Gab. That's what makes your kicks powerful, see? Yeah. Hey, what happened here? Whoa. Did you see what happened? Yeah, um, Mr. Fernandez ran over your father's instruments with his truck. Oh, no. Where are they? They're in the bodega now. Go on, Mr. Fraser. what else? Well, I mean, I can't make a living without my instruments. How am I supposed to pay my rent? How am I supposed to support my daughter? We could be out on the streets. Oh, hi, Pips. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I mean, Fernandez has been complaining about my music ever since we moved into this building. He even said once that he wanted to destroy my instruments. If you don't turn down that music, I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna break those instruments into a million pieces. You understand me? Eduardo Lenny is I mean, I never would have believed it, but I think maybe he did this on purpose. And that's when you supposedly saw this individual that ran out in front of your truck? No, no, I didn't supposedly see him. I saw him. Now, why doesn't anybody believe me? I, do. I believe you, Papa. 
I do my best to avoid hurting someone, and these are the thanks that I get. And he, he wouldn't understand what it means to be considerate. He's given me nothing but headaches ever since he moved in upstairs. All that loud music pounding through the walls. I'm sure the record company will give you another chance. Yeah, it's just a minor setback. I'm done. Me too. Oh, I'll get that. You got it, honey. No, no, really, I want to. Well, thanks, Bips. Maybe I'll just lie down. Tell me what happens. Sorry. Thanks. So what really happened? Mr. Fernandez is always complaining about my father's music. I guess this was his chance to shut my father up for good. Come on, Lenny. You know Mr. Fernandez is not that type of person. He only swerved so he wouldn't hit that guy who ran What guy? Truck. No one saw any guy. Alex said there was a guy. Alex said. Of course he's going to stand up for his father, whether it's true or not. You calling my father a liar? I'm saying it's pretty strange that your father's the only person who saw this guy. And how can we turn the wheel towards my dad? The other side of the street was completely empty. The whole thing happened in a split second. Excuse him for not having enough time to find the parking okay, space. calm down, guys. Nobody had time to swerve all the way across the street to hit my dad's stuff. How do you know? You weren't even there. Neither were you. Guys, stop it. Come on, settle down. Hey, Rob, back me up here. Rob? I know your father complained about us to the landlord. He should have gotten rid of you when he had the chance. Newspaper has an article about the accident in it. Now people will see that my father was a hero. The song has ended for musician Max Frazier, thanks to his not so neighborly neighbor, Eduardo Fernandez. Uh oh. It gets worse. People at the scene said his driving was reckless. He was driving like a madman, one woman said. How can they talk about my father this way? He didn't do anything wrong. Hey, they quoted you, Tina. At least somebody stood up for him. Tina Nguyen, who was at the scene, reported, I thought he was going to run us over. I've never been so scared in my whole life. Gabby, I'm sorry. I Are just... you sorry? You tell the whole world my father drives like a maniac and you're sorry? I didn't say that. I just told the reporter. Well, I, really... I thought you were my best friend, Tina. Friends are supposed to stand up for each other. I am your best friend. I just had to tell the truth. You're just like Lenny, accusing my dad. Don't even talk to me, Tina. I don't want to speak to you as long as I live. Hey, Rob, I was looking for you. Where'd you disappear to before? Ah, uh, sorry, I had to go. Listen, this accident thing is really getting out of hands. Now Lenny and Alex aren't even speaking to each other. Hey, weren't you just leaving, Calvin? Have a beautiful day. 
why is Calvin Ferguson always turning up where he's not wanted? It's part of his charm. <laughs> well, anyway, we've got to do something about the team. We can't just let everything fall apart. Yeah. Don't you even care? This is serious. Of course I care. You don't act like it. Look, you guys are the greatest bunch of friends I've ever had. Think I really want to lose that? Well, why didn't you say that before? I don't know. I can't deal with fights. Well, we have to deal with it. We have to stop it. What if we can't? We have to. find out what happened yesterday. If we can prove there really was a guy who ran in front of the truck, then Max will stop accusing Mr. Fernandez of running over his instruments on purpose. Then Lenny and Alex will stop fighting. Maybe. It's fine, Tina. She saw the whole accident and she got it on videotape. Then we need to make a case book. See, what happens is... You're not coming? Sorry, I can't. I have to finish this paper. Keep me posted, though? Yeah, all right. I'll call you later, OK? Bye. Jamal and Rob have someone ah. to go to for help. A person who gives them secret information. Ah, you're brilliant, Calvin! I already know that person probably has the initials GW. Crazy? This book can help us find out how they get their information and what GW is. GW. Help us find Cutesy by reading anything near him. So, whatever GW is, it can read and find things. I'm gonna keep this baby hidden in my safe in the cellar, away from any words GW might read. Boy, what I could do if I got my hands on GW. Let me see what else I can find out about him. By reading what your mom was typing on his computer. Can you help us? How can we stop the fighting? <sighs> well, at least I know one thing. They're fighting. <laughs> Jamal and his friends were always stuck together like glue, with all their secrets and their special handshakes. But now the glue is coming unstuck. Ah, they say that breaking up is hard to do. That must be why they're asking GW for help. Maybe Jamal was writing GW a letter. Can you help us? How can we stop the fighting? But no one will listen. Thanks. But no one will listen? How does that fit in? And how can he be thanking GW if he hasn't even gotten an answer to the questions yet? <sighs> Unless... He was getting the answers right there. Jamal's computer could have been hooked up to GW's computer someplace else. Yeah, Jamal was acting like he got answers. But how come Jamal could see the answers and I couldn't? What's up, Calvin? So that's their secret. GW gives them help and advice by sending them messages no one else can see. Just think what I could do if I had someone like that working for me. screeching sound and then I saw the truck heading straight toward us did you see anybody jump in front of the truck 
Did anybody see him? This is the only way we'll be able to prove that Mr. Fernandez is telling the truth. Sorry. Well, what about your videotape? Maybe you caught the guy on that. Why don't you bring it over and we'll check it out? I don't know. I'm kind of busy. Too busy to help Gabby and Alex? Tina, they're your friends. Not according to Gabby. Oh, boy. What happened? She's mad because of what I told the reporter from the City Sun yesterday. So you had a little argument. So what? Can't you guys make up so we can get to work on solving this thing? It's hard trying to make up with someone who's not speaking to you. Tina, wait. Can you at least lend me the videotape so that I can watch it by myself? I guess. I'll be over in a while. Bye. Bye. happening to everybody. Now I know and I see you're not the friend I thought you'd be Hi, Bips. What's the matter? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. Your old dad's gonna take care of everything. Hey, old dad, we're in this together, remember? Just grown up financial stuff that wouldn't interest you. Tommy! I don't want you to worry, Bips. I'm already worried. And the more you keep things secret, the scarier it seems. <sighs> okay. Do you know what insurance is? Sort of. Not really. Well, when you own something valuable, like a house or a car, and you want to protect it in case it's damaged or stolen, you pay an insurance company a certain amount of money each month, and then if something bad happens, the insurance company pays you money to cover the damage. Do you have insurance for your instruments? Uh, I used to, but uh, I forgot to renew the policy, and that part of it's all my fault. What about Mr. Fernandez? Does he have insurance? The good news is yes. His auto insurance covers $5,000 worth of property damage. That's great! Yeah, but the bad news is I need $10,000 to replace my instruments. So you still need $5,000. What are you gonna do? Well, I asked Mr. Fernandez for the money because the accident was his fault. He said, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. Well, the Fernandezes don't have much money. Well, I know, but that doesn't excuse what Mr. Fernandez did. He destroyed my property, and somehow he has to pay the price. Well, what do you mean? Well, there's another way to get money out of Mr. Fernandez, but it will not be pretty. Okay. Now, let's see what we've got. Pretend that I'm a superstar and interview me. Act like you're really impressed, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's move over there so I can see the instruments. Okay. Shoot. So, how does it feel to be rich and famous? Oh, it's not very different. I'm still the same old down-to-earth Max Fraser, except maybe for my Rolls Royce and my Jag and my Lamborghini. <laughs> Well, there were those two guys running, but they weren't near the truck when it crashed. Oh well, at least I've got some witnesses. There was Max, Mark from Max's band, and of course I'll have to talk to Mr. Fernandez. It's no fun doing this without the team.
Yo, Rob. Ah, uh, hey, Jamal. You get a hold of any of those witnesses from the tape? Well, I talked to Mark last night, but he didn't see anything. Mm, too bad. But I'm not giving up. I'm going over to the bodega to talk to Mr. Fernandez. You want to come? Oh, I can't. But don't you want to help the team get back together? Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Is I miss her. Uh huh. And I know I said I never want to speak to her again, but Tina's my best friend. We've been through so much together. You wouldn't understand. Uh huh. I know, Alex. He's coming back. What if he checks his truck this time? We're gonna get caught. Yeah, well, no matter what happens to us. At least we're together. And I miss everybody else, too. Do you think we'll see them again? Doesn't look that way. I thought we had friends we could count on. Guess I was wrong. Hey, guys. Jamal! Hi, Jamal! <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see you, too, but uh, I can't breathe under here. So what's going on? I'm on the case. I'm trying to find the guy who ran in front of your father's truck. All right. At least somebody believes us. Did you find anything? Not yet. That's why I'm here. To speak to your father. Maybe get a description. Excuse me. Does someone named Eduardo Coro Fernandez work here? Uh, yeah. He's I'm Eduardo friend. Fernandez. What is this? I don't know. But the answer must be in these papers. It's so long. Look at all those big words. Disturbance. Disbursement. Is that like dissing someone? There's no way anyone can read this. Yeah, well, we can't give up now. Papa might be in trouble. But it will take all day. We'd have to look everything up. Maybe there's a way we can figure this out. How? Well, some of these words do make sense. Let's look for the words we know. OK. Hey, here's Papa's name. 
Eduardo Coro Fernandez. And here's Maxwell Joseph Frazier. That's Lenny's dad. And look what's in between them. The word against. Yeah, they sure have something against each other right now. This must be about the accident. Yeah, and here's the word attorney. That means lawyer. This must have something to do with the law. Yeah, Supreme Court. Look here. That's the kind of truck Baba had. And here are Max's instruments. Mixer, drums, electric guitars, amplifier, speakers. That still doesn't explain what made Baba so angry. Maybe this does. Max has been damaged to the sum of $10,000. You know what that means? Max needs $10,000 to buy new instruments. You know, he was in here the other day trying to get the money from my father. Looks like he still wants it. Which means if Papa can't come up with the money, he can be in serious trouble with the law. 